the second variation that we have on this uh, annuity formula is uh, suppose that we know the payment and the final uh, amount that we want and we want to know how many payments we need to make in order to produce that amount. Okay, so in this case the value of n is going to be unknown and so just as uh, with our compound interest formula we can use the logarithm function to solve for the number of periods. Okay, so for example uh, Clyde has de decided to deposit $200 a month into an account paying 8% compounded monthly. How long will it take for the account to be worth one million dollars. Okay, so maybe he wants a million dollars for his retirement. Okay, so we can compute the rate per period just as we did before. Eight percent divided by twelve point zero zero and then a bunch of sixes. Okay, and then we can substitute in what we know into the annuity formula. One million is the final amount that we want. The payment is two hundred dollars a month. And then the rest of the formula gets filled in as before. But this time the value of n is unknown. And so what we will attempt to do is to work with this algebraically until we get this term here alone by itself and then we can take the logarithms and extract the exponent. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is divide by 200 okay, and then multiply by the point zero zero six 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 seven and that gives us about thirty three point three three equals one point zero zero six 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 seven to the n power minus one next step is to transfer the one so if we add one to both sides Then we get this. Okay, so now finally we're ready to take logarithms. Take the logarithm of each side. We have log 34.33 is equal to log 1.006666667 to the n. And then we use the exponent property of logarithms to bring that unknown exponent out front and we get this and so you may remember that uh, solving an equation like this is not difficult because those logarithms are just numbers we can calculate them on our scientific calculator and we find that uh, n is equal to log 34.33 divided by log 1 point zero zero six 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 seven and the answer turns out to be about five hundred thirty two months okay, so this is an unfamiliar number of months but if we divide by twelve then we find it will take Claude about forty four years to save this money